In today's video, I get to play God, Let there be light. And you get to watch me in bed. IoT and AI are in a category right now where we in the tech industry would call disruptive technology. Technology that completely takes the world by storm and changes it for good. In this video, I'll be showing you five devices using which you can make this disruptive technology affordable technology. Device number one and the most expensive among the five that we'll be seeing today is Amazon Echo Dot. This device requires no introduction, but if you have been living under a rock for the past two years, then here's what you need to know. All the major tech companies are working on AI voice assistants that control your electrical or electronic devices. Apple with Siri and Apple Home, Google with OK Google and Google Home, Microsoft is just wasting their time on Cortana, and Amazon has Alexa. Okay, if you have one of these nearby now, now is a good time to put them on mute because I'll be using them quite a bit during this video. The Echo Dot is the cheapest among Amazon's Echo range of products and it costs about £50. Though I would be using a couple of Echo Dot devices to review the other four products today, it's not absolutely mandatory for you to have one of these. A Google Home device or even your smartphone should suffice. Now that we've got that out of the way, let the fun begin. The Philips Hue starter kit costs £150 and their LED strips cost £50. These are a couple of devices that brought home automation into mainstream today. But the four devices I'll be reviewing today will cost a fraction of that and they can pretty much do almost everything that those devices can. So now for device number two is the Sonoff Wi-Fi wall switch with touch controls. It costs £10 and trust me, it's the best £10 you'll ever spend. You can use it manually using the touch controls you can control it using the EV Link app on your smartphone and you can also control it using Alexa or Google Home by adding the EV Link skill. This switch will replace your regular wall switch. The neutral in goes into the first port, the live in goes into the second port and the live out goes into the third. Once installed, you can connect this to your home's Wi-Fi network and control the device from anywhere in the world using the app. In my case, I'm currently just controlling lights and an exhaust fan but you can control almost anything that is connected to the end of the switch. Here's a demo. Alexa, turn on bathroom lights. Okay. And the best bit is, you don't have to get out of bed to turn off the lights. Alexa, turn off bedroom lights. Okay. You can also create groups and scenes to control multiple devices using a single command to Alexa, but we'll discuss this in more detail in a future video. Device number three is the Sonoff Wi-Fi LED ceiling light. I don't have a sample at hand, but I have one installed on the ceiling in my room. To install, just remove your regular bulb socket setup from your ceiling and replace it with this LED panel. Connect the wires live to live and neutral to neutral. And then, same as before, you connect the device to your home's Wi-Fi network using the EV Link app on your phone. You connect it to the Amazon Echo Dot using the Alexa app on your phone. Once done, Read the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 Alexa, let there be light. Okay. And you will see that it is good. Device number 4 is the Smart Life LED RGB Wi-Fi light controller. I know that's quite a mouthful. You can see these LED strips almost everywhere these days. They cost under £5 for 5 meters and with over 20 color combinations, they look pretty awesome. When you buy one of these, they usually come with a power adapter that plugs into a small control unit like this. The control unit has a 4-pin connector and an infrared receiver. And it also comes with an IR remote that you can use to control the color, the brightness and the pattern of these LED lights. Now all you have to do is replace this regular control unit with the smart control unit that will cost you about £5. You can now connect the smart controller to your Wi-Fi network and add the smart life skill to Alexa. Once this is done, you can not only turn your LED strips on and off, you can also change the colors on them. Alexa, set wall lights to red. Okay. Alexa, set wall lights to green. Okay. Alexa, set wall lights to yellow. Okay. 
Alexa, set wall lights to blue. Okay. Device number five. The last device we'll be reviewing today is the most simple and the most versatile of them all. It's the Sonoff DIY switch. It costs just four pounds. You can snap this in between any pair of live and neutral wires and control the device at the end of it. You take the top plates off, connect the input ends coming from the wall socket and connect the output ends to the device you want to automate. Once connected, make sure to put the top plates on and ensure that the device is properly insulated. Now you can connect this to your home's Wi-Fi network and control the device using the EV-Link app or Alexa. I have connected a 4-way power distributor by snapping the wire in the middle and installing this DIY switch. This way, I am able to control the LED strips around the shelf, the two blue LED lamps in the first and last shelves, a DVD player and the lightsaber on top. I have also grouped it to the Smart Life RGB controller on the Alexa app. This way, I can control the devices on the shelves and also the lights around the walls, all with a single command to Alexa. I will show you in detail on how you can set up each of these devices in my future videos, so make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you dislike the video, hit the thumbs down button, but do something and make yourself useful. I will leave the links for all the items that I reviewed today in the description below. But be sure to buy the ones specific to your country because the power supply and the construction method differ from country to country. Also, be safe when meddling with electricity. Thanks for watching. Take care.